Now let's begin with efforts to bring sanity to every section of Lagos, which are being intensified by the government. Members of the Lagos State House of Assembly are deliberating on the idea of a law to curb street begging across the state. The law, if implemented, will also penalize those encouraging street begging. In this way, it will become an offense to give arms to the street beggar. The uh, Speaker of the House, Modashiro Basa, who described, described street begging as a menace, agreed with other lawmakers that criminal elements disguised as beggars have taken over the streets. Yeah, gentlemen, uh, it's quite um, an amazing, um, do I call it innovation or something coming up from the Lagos State House of Assembly? Let me start with you, Doctor. What do you make of this? Because I know that Nigerians, you know, we have devotees of different religion, uh, different religions, Islam, Christianity. Uh, part of Islam is, one of the forecomings of Islam is you have to, you know, give, give, uh, pay, uh, I mean, give arms to beggars. Yeah. And then you also pay tithe in churches. How do you feel about this? latest development from the Lagos State House of Assembly? Well, there, there, there are um, better ways of giving when it comes to arms. And um, I find that instructive for both religions you spoke about, mm -hmm. Christians and the Muslims. When you go to some churches, what do they do? They put money together, put food stuff together, pay, I mean, people's way through schools, right. um, give food out, pay rent, pay hospital bills. And when you also look on the other side too, we have major Islamic organizations who also put together this form of arms to do great things. Okay great and mighty things, just as some churches also do. Pay school fees, pay medical bills, pay house rent, and all the rest. Mm -hmm. Which, in my estimation, is a far more better way of um, giving arms. Over the years, it's been established that most of the monies we give on the streets, they go into drugs. Mm -hmm. NDLA has confirmed that, that most of these people you see begging, by the time it is night, they put your money together, and then you see them taking all manner of dog, or drugs. And that, for me, it's not good for our society. What the lawmakers are doing now, I won't say is something completely new. At some point in this Lagos, beggars were mopped off the streets. There is, a, there is a place in Ikorodu where the Lagos State Government has a vocational center. Once they pick people up the streets, if you are not willing at that point to go back to your state, they take you there. It's, in the 90s, it was such a beautiful place to build, and early 2000s, where you had sewing machine, you had carpentry workshop, you have different kind of vocations, you can learn there. But what we've discovered over time is that most of these people have turned begging into a trade. They've turned even the able body mm. ones. There was a time I, in the morning, I passed through um, Allen Junction, coming from Ogba. And then at that junction, there was traffic. And I had a woman saying Yoruba to the other person, two able bodied women, Ekpo Rajia now, meaning. Mm. Um, I don't know how I'm going to put this very well Instead in English. Sort of congratulating them or just, just wishing them. Well yeah. done for the, my, for the trading of yeah. yesterday. That's right. So meaning that it's a trade for them. They just wake up in the morning, leave their homes. Able-bodied women who can't be more than, say, 45, 50. They just come there, they stay there, they beg for money, and they go back home. And you see also, apart from the ones that we can even see who are physical, physically disabled, who are blind, who have one arm or something. But we've seen that even in these are Lagos, people with one arm, they are controlling traffic and earning a form of living. But some of them have turned it into a trade. They don't right. want to do anything. We can also see at traffic lights now, some of them selling handkerchief, selling sweets right. and all the rest. That's right. So I think it's a good move. 
let's make the society, <clears throat> let's turn it into a, mo a modern city. All right. The government is Tony, I'm not sure how you see it because, um, you know, of course, we've seen some people who uh, were being made to beg arms on the streets with protruded belly or bellies, or mm. some will also have different kind of deformities. And then you as a Nigerian or as a religious person, you want to give. But based on what he said, some of this money is going to you know, drug and all of that. Where do you see, where do you stand on this? I think it's, um, it's long overdue. <clears throat> and uh, I support the Lagos State House, um, House of Assembly. You know, though successive administration in Lagos have done something similar to this. But what would make it that different is that law that they want to enact, you know, it's not about making the law, it's about following it up again. Because uh, we, have, we have, this is not the first time we have issues like this. And then after activating, you know, executing it, then relax again. The moment you relax, they come back. It's always like that. So, but I believe with this law, a lot will change because it's high time. You need to drive around Lagos. Lagos is supposed to be a mega city. When you drive around, you see a lot of things. You know, the way they come, and these days, it's even taking a new dimension. You see kids, you know, their children, they run after vehicles, no matter how you tell them to leave. The, you know, it's even dangerous. On highways, they, they, they hang on this, you know, moving vehicle. No matter what you, they will follow you until the car, it may be speed off. You know, so that is where I think, and others, just go, for, for instance, Kate, he, just, he mentioned the Kuru, we just come down to Ikurudu Road, mm -hmm. from K2 down to Ojota, then go to Bonuwe, you know, Bonuwe, you know those area. Mm -hmm. That is where they are domiciled. Then in Ikurudu Road, they come out in the morning, they go in the evening, it's business. At times they even rent kids, they bring children to do this for them. So over time, you, you start asking yourself question, do we really have a government? I mean, why would they allow sort of things to, you know, to, you know, they are running riot over this, unchecked. So if they can enact that law truly and follow it up, clean up the city, nobody is saying, um, pick them up and throw them into the lab. No, 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 no. You can rehabilitate them. But no sane government will allow this to happen. We have all manner, and these days you don't, you don't, you don't, you can't even say this is where they're coming from. And I think that's why we have a problem in this country. Mm -hmm. That people from, even from, neighboring countries from the north, I'm not saying northern, not even northern Nigeria, from the fringes of the northern borders, come into the country and come to Lagos, beg arms, and they live within us, and we don't even know anything about them. Amazing. You know, we look at the security impact, it, 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 you know, it, 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 may, co it may cause, it, 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 you know, the implication. Now, very quickly, before we change tack, um, Dotson, the, the speaker said that the proposed law should aim to establish a center where individuals who wish to give arms can do so, while the center would also ensure that the arms reach those in need. <laughs> that, that's, that to me appears like a tall order, looking at the <laughs> situation, how things have been handled, especially when it comes to issues of money. Money. Uh, corruption is endemic, even though this uh, current administration is trying to fight corruption. Mm. Uh, do you share in this perspective, or would you suggest something better than this um, means? I think it's fine if the government says, um, let's put the money somewhere. But I think what should be considered ultimately is how to provide a means of living for these people. And like I said, the vocational center in Ikorodu is still there. I'm sure it has not been packed up. Go back there, rehabilitate it, make it livable, and let those who have contributions to make come there. At some point, people, they were churning out carpenters, um, other artisans from there. So I think it's a good place where people can go mm -hmm. and get a means of livelihood. It's not so much about dishing out the tenera every day that has turned some people into perpetual beggars, because that's what some people want to remain, even when they have the opportunity of changing that kind of um, lifestyle. You, you can imagine that. All right, Dr. Hang on. I, I told your thoughts. We have a caller who is calling us from Lagos, okay? Well, uh, okay, well, thanks so much for joining us on Journalist Hangouts. Please, um, the ball is in your court. Hello. Right, okay, well, you, uh, okay, well, okay well, we can hear you. Hello, good evening. Good evening, okay, well, go ahead, proceed. Uh, hello, good evening. 
Yes, well done. I have to I have to thank you for giving me the opportunity to contribute to your program. I hope you are hearing me. Yes, you are good evening. far away. Could you speak up so we can hear you? Hello. Clearly? We can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, now on concerning this uh, concerning making law for against for, for the banning of begging on the Lagos streets. This thing is not new. The former governor of Kano State has banned begging in Kano. The former governor of Kaduna State too has banned begging in Kaduna. Even Okada riding, they banned them. But we have a big challenge in Lagos. We don't have a government. Because we don't have a government. We have a governor that is a weakling. Okada riders are banned. Well, um, you, 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 you will be going out of, you'll be, you'll be making uh, yeah, false claims when you, say, <laughs> when you say we don't have government. We have government, but you already said that it's been done in Southern Nebo. I still saw a video, mm. you know, um, I'm not exactly sure what particular state, but from the north where we, ha we saw some Alamajirai who was standing you know, close to a man who was eating outside. They were just waiting for the man to finish the food, and the next thing is they rushed you know, at that food. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it, this, this is something that, um, you know, we just have to keep talking about mm -hmm. it and see how, mm -hmm. uh, you it's know, we can also help the government yeah. in resolving this menace on our streets. Well,